In this simulation, we're going to create an autonomous robot simulation. It could also be used as, for crowds, things like that with bipeds. Uh, we're going to keep it kind of simple in this tutorial and use little shapes for this instead of the bipeds. But the first thing we're going to do is create a plane so that our little robots have something to roll around on. And after we've created our plane, we're going to create a, uh, click on helpers. We're going to create this little crowd helper. And you can click, set this anywhere in the scene. Now the next thing we're going to do is color our plane so that we can tell what's going on here. So I'm going to come back to this. Create a darker color. And now we're going to add a delegate and draw that on the plane. And make our delegate a bright color. You can see our delegate right there. We're going to make this a little bit smaller. We're going to scale it down. So this is going to simulate our robot. Now we're going to go back to our crowd object under our modifiers. And right here we have our scatter option. I'm going to click that. This will come up. All right, and then we want it to clone our object, which is our delegate down here. So we'll click on none. We're going to select delegate. And then we're going to choose position. We want on surface. And then we're going to have to tell it what surface we want. So here we want plane, which is our floor. Now we're going to skip over to all ops. We want to turn on clones, positions, and rotations. Back in clone, we're going to tell it how many clones we want. In this situation, uh, we're going to put a bunch of them in there for now. And then in order to create the clones, Go back to All Ops, click on Scatter, and you can see it made a whole bunch, actually 40 little clones of our robots. Alright, we're going to click on OK. You can see all of our objects there. And up in here in Setup, we have these other things, we're actually going to click on behavior assignments. This is actually what's going to create our behaviors with all of our delegates. On this behavior assignments pane, there's a few things we need to look at here. Um, over here on teams, we can actually create teams of these robots or bipeds, crowds, whatever. Uh, and each team can perform tasks individually or we can put everything on one team so that everybody behaves the same. Uh, we're going to start by assigning one team so we're going to go to new team. We're going to assign our delegates. I'm going to assign about half of our delegates to one team. So this is team zero and we have one through 21 on this team. Alright, so now that we got our team set up, we're going to create a new behavior. Um, we're going to make them wander. So we're going to create a wander behavior. And we'll click on these arrows right here where it says new assignment. We'll assign it to team zero. So team zero wanders. And it's set to a weight of one. This is going to become important later on. We'll click OK.
And under our solve panel, we may have to expand that out. Um, we're going to click delete keys before solve. That way it, it clears everything out each time we solve it. And we're going to be doing different things here to see what happens. We'll click solve. Allow it to run through. Once it's run through, we'll play it. And you can see about half of our little robots look like mice running around. And they're just wandering around. We'll get a little bit better view of these things so that you can see exactly what they're doing. And we're going to add some more behaviors here. We've got delegates 1 through 21 under team 1. We're going to create a new team. Team 1 here. We'll start with 21 or 22 and go to 41. And under team 1, we're going to add a new behavior. We're going to have them wander as well. Click OK. And we're going to solve this again, but this time we have 200 frames set up here. So we're going to bump this up from 100 to 200 so it actually they wander the entire time that we're playing this out. We'll click Solve again. Alright, and at this point you can see you have the robots scattering all around. Almost look like little mice. Alright, so now we have we're gonna start calling them mice now. We have our little mice running around. We're gonna make a hunk of cheese for them. And we're going to get half of the mice. Instead of wandering aimlessly, we're going to have them actually seek out this piece of cheese here. So we'll go back to our behavior assignments. We're going to add a new behavior. We're going to add a seek behavior here. And we're going to have team zero seek out. this point we're going to click on under behaviors we're going to click on the seek we're going to have to tell it what to seek so in this instance we want it to seek this box which is our cheese click on the box and you can see here box one and then we'll solve again And this time when we play it out, we should notice that a group, which is our Team Zero, should actually seek out this, this box here. So we'll play it and see what happens. And if you'll notice, there's a lot more of our little mice running around this little cheese block than before. Before, they were all scattered out everywhere. And we still have some scattered out. That's our other team that we haven't set up as a seek yet. Also, when we click Seek, they don't go straight to it and stay there. Um, it gives it a little bit more natural look. And we'll adjust some of these uh, options in just a minute. Alright, in order for it to act a little more natural, we'll go back to the behavior assignments. Oops. We're going to look at this. I pointed out this weight before, and right now everything's a weight of 1, which means everything's equal. So, on our team zero, we're going to make our wander, we're going to decrease our weight for our wander so it doesn't wander quite as much. 
let's try point 0.5 there and we'll leave seek to 1 and what this should do is this should make our little mice seek this cheese more than they wander but they're still going to wander some Again, we'll click solve and we'll play it out and see what we have and now they're hanging around that piece of cheese a little bit more than they were before when we play this zoom in here a little bit more you can see that these little mice they're actually running into each other they're actually running through each other they're running through our block so we're gonna have to create another behavior assignment all right I've set up a little bit more simple model for this next piece I had just too much stuff going on with the 40 mice running around everywhere um, so what I've done is I've just uh, limited it to 15 mice and they're all on the same team and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this little this little problem with them running into each other and running into the box um, I haven't put the behavior on there for them to go over to the box yet so we'll do that and then we'll uh, go from there so I'm gonna come up here to my behavior assignments under my new behavior I'm gonna do an avoid behavior I want them to avoid the box and I want them to avoid each other as well go to my team um, we're gonna leave that the way it is come back over here to my avoid I'm gonna select multiple selections this time because I want to avoid more than just the box I want them to avoid each other and I'm going to select everything except for our plane and let's go ahead and solve for that now and then we'll change some of the parameters in a minute All right. so right now it's not exactly the way we want it because they're still running around pretty close to each other but you can see that they're not going into my box anymore they're kind of wandering around the box so let's set up some of the parameters for this alright the first thing we're gonna do is click on this little box under repel um, display repel radius that way we can see what it's where it's trying to repel um, we're gonna change this radius I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller actually so they'll get a little bit closer to the box and let's try that we're gonna solve that and we'll play it out and see what we've got. turn this off so we can see what's going on and that looks about right. You see they're actually going to the box like it's a piece of cheese and they're wandering around it. If we want to get a little bit better idea of what's going on here, we'll change our frames. We'll go up to 200 frames. We need to change this to 200 as well. And we'll solve that. and we'll play it out looks good